happy Friday lunch, everyone. I wanted to share this quick, easy, yummy, and cheap recipe for corn dog muffins. Um, I made these for the daycare today. The recipe made 24 muffins. I have no clue where I got this pan from other than a friend. Um, she bought it for me, thought I needed it. So it is perfect for making big batches of muffins. Um, but corn dog muffins, um, I creamed together one cup butter, one cup sugar, and then mixed in two eggs and one and a half cups milk. And then added in one and a half cups flour, one cup cornmeal, two teaspoons baking powder, two teaspoons salt, and just mix that all together either by hand or if you have a KitchenAid mixer or another type of um, countertop mixer. And then what I did was I had, <coughs> excuse me, I had sprayed the pan um, with some nonstick spray and then filled them up just under halfway. And then I added in chopped hot dogs and some shredded cheese and then filled the pan up at about three-fourths of the way. That one in the back, I don't know if you can see, it was full like all the way. It was way too much. Um, it, you wouldn't, if you fill it that full, it'll still get done, but you won't get 24 muffins out of it. Um, this cornbread um, recipe is amazing, so if you don't want to do um, muffins, you can just add it into a pan. And then um, I baked the muffins at 350 for 25 minutes. If you just did um, a bread loaf, you would obviously need a little bit longer um, than 25 minutes, probably closer to 40 or 45. But these are so good. The daycare kids have loved them. Um, it is, it's supposed to be Fiesta Film Friday, so we normally do Fiesta food, but I thought these sounded good and they are watching Minions. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but they're really excited. So, um, there you have it, quick, easy, cheap recipe. You can even throw these in the freezer and then just reheat them um, in the microwave until they're thawed and warm through, but they are so good. I put about um, four pieces of chopped hot dog in it and then a bunch of shredded cheese. You could even mix the shredded cheese in to um, your batter if you wanted. That might be easy too. Um, I might try that next time, but these are so good. I will show you the recipe one more time if you need. But I hope you guys enjoy these. Enjoy your Friday, and I will check back in with you guys later.